through projects in this video we are going to explain about a project titled text and voice based marathi language chatbot so now coming to the introduction part the advent of a text and voice based marathi language chatbot represents a pivotal step towards inclusive digital communication by embracing both text and voice modalities in a regional language this innovation underscores the potential of technology to transcend linguistic barriers and cater to diverse user needs as the digital landscape evolves such innovators emphasize the importance of preserving cultural identity by harnessing the capabilities of technology for the benefit of all the significance of this text and voice based marathi language chatbots extends beyond mere linguistic convenience it addresses the challenge of language inclusion in the digital landscape fostering a sense of belonging and empowerment among marathi speaking individuals so now coming to the objective part for this project are firmly rooted in the pursuit of inclusive communication linguistic empowerment and improved user experiences by breaking down language barriers and catering to the preferences of marathi speakers this innovation aligns with the broader goal of harnessing technology to foster meaningful interactions while preserving linguistic and cultural identities the chatbot tries to comprehend the nuances of marathi language including dialects and idiomatic expressions to deliver meaningful and accurate interaction this not only enhances the credibility of the chatbot but also encourages users to rely on it as a reliable source of information and assistance so now coming to the requirements part we have two types of requirements that are hardware requirements and software requirements in hardware requirement operating system with windows is required processor i5 and above minimum 4 gb of ram is required hard disk 20 gb and above coming to the software requirement part python ide l the 3.7 version is required so now coming to the methodology part first home in the context of digital platforms websites or applications the home refers to the main or starting place that users encounter upon accessing the platform it often serves as the central hub from which users can navigate to se- different sections features or content within the platform second user a user refers to an individual who interacts with the digital platform website or application users engage with these platforms to access information perform tasks or utilize services in the context of technology the term user encompasses a broad spectrum ranging from individuals browsing websites to customers using software applications or participants in online communities third register here register here is a call to action often found on digital platforms inviting users to create an account or sign up for membership by clicking on the register here link on or button users initiate the process of providing their information such as a username email address and password to establish an account on the platform So now coming to the execution part to execute the project first we need to open the code folder So here we have a folder which is named as chatbot in this we have a folder which is named as pycatch in this we are sub containing some python files and these are also the python files which are containing the python scripts in it Another folder named as dataset in this we are containing a dataset in the .csv format and the folder named as my chatbot in this we are containing some folders over here and in all these folders again we are containing some five python files which are containing the python scripts in it and these all are also the python files chatbot and manage are the two python files which are containing the python scripts in it and here this is the run.bat file instead of executing the program in command line interface we created windows bat file to execute the project so now to run the project double click on run.bat file to execute the project so in command line interface we can see after running manage.py file the django framework will post the application link locally at the default address and port unless configured differently so here you can see that the link has been posted over here so i just have to copy this link and you can paste it in on any of the browser so i am pasting it on the chrome so here you can see that i have pasted the link on the browser and after that we have to write index.html and just press the enter button so here on this screen you can see that we have got a register here button link to get the below sign up page so just click over here so that you can get a sign up page enter your name suppose i am entering my name and enter the password or generate a password over here 
enter the contact number email id and address and click on register button to register these details so here you can see that sign up process completed so now you can see that the user can log in by clicking on the user login link over here so just enter the user name which the user have the created while doing the registration and enter the password over here and just click on login button to log in for successfully here you can see that it has been login over here so now this is a chatbot the user can enter any query over here and click on display full name button to get the answer from mama bot and if question not available in mama bot train model then use the user will get sorry message over here suppose i will wanna type over here that eating fish during pregnancy safe so here on this screen you can see that the user has entered the query over here and now by clicking on the display full name button over here it will give us the answer over here that the question for the answer over here is is suppose i will going to write over here that is cook biryani so it will going to display sorry i am not trained to answer the above question so it is translating this into the hindi over here so here you can see that the user will enter any question over here and the chatbot will going to answer the questions over here so now click on voice based chat over here you can voice your record your voice over here and it will just simply give your answer over here by clicking on the log out button you can log out with this so here you can see that this is the home user button and we have successfully logged out with this so now coming back to the conclusion part in the broader landscape of technology and language this initiative serves as a testament to the harmonious co coexistence of innovation and culture as digital interactions continue to evolve the potential to communicate in one's native language whether through text or speech reiterates the transformative potential of technology in preserving traditions fostering connections and enabling a global community that transcends linguistic boundaries as the journey continues the text and voice based marathi language chatbot stands as an embodiment of progress inclusivity and the boundless possibilities that lie at the interaction of language and technology thank you for watching video for more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in for updates on latest project videos Please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.